take my glasses off so I can see because I don't know what's going on. Hi, guys. So it's Miss Nixon here, and today, okay, let me take that. Oh, hopefully, I won't. Hi. So it's Miss Nixon. That's me, Miss Nixon. And, and tonight, I was just feeling, let me move my glasses out the way. I had to cover everything up because I haven't done a pour in a minute. And so, um, taking up, this is my base paint. So most of my paints are by, let me see, Artist Loft, oh, it's right here so you can hear me. Artist Loft and Liquitex are the two main paints that I use in my acrylic pours. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my base and I'm gonna, hopefully my phone will not Get heavily farther, please don't let my phone fall in the paint. Amen. Okay, so hopefully it won't fall in the paint. So let's tilt you down. Just make sure you can see. Can you see? Can you see? So I won't be able to see your comments. Um, how do you get rid of these? How do you get rid of the words on the side? I guess I do that. I do that. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So there are words on the screen. I wish I knew. So I want to make sure you can see me. Wow, wow. Can you see? If you're here, if anybody's here, can you all see? I need that. I need some. I need to. Um, all right, I'm just going to go. So my iPhone, pull it all in the way. So most people, I hope you can hear me if you're here. Most people or artists, when they do their acrylic pour, sometimes I use this. Let me see what I'm doing. Sometimes I use this, which is a cake spatula. Or sometimes I use this. I think I'm a, no, I can't. But tonight, I think I'm just going to use my fingers. But that's not why I have my gloves on. And you want to make sure your canvas is covered with enough base so when you pour your paint on, it flows. The last thing you want is to have your canvas not fully saturated. So let me get some more gloves because I'm going to need them. I tried to go live on my other feed and I just couldn't. Let me take my watch off. I just couldn't figure it out. So I'm like, bump it. But before we go, let me show y'all some. This is some of my previous work. Can you see? This is, is anybody here? One person. Okay. So this is some of my previous work that I've done. Um, this is a, that's an acrylic pour, a Dutch pour, but I blew it out. I forgot what the technique it's called, but when you pour the paint on it, you actually blow it in the direction you want it to go. I didn't use a blow dry for this. I actually used my mouth to blow the colors out. So, ooh, if I had another phone or a computer, then I can see what you all see. Cause I could log in. I should go get my iPad. So is anybody here? No one's here yet. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go get my, oh, hi. Hi. What, what do you make? Hi, anonymous Facebook user friend. Um, I'm making an acrylic pour. So I had to tilt my phone down and this isn't working for me because I can't see what you all see. But since you're here, you're important. We'll, we'll do this. Is that my berry bear? that I'm talking to. Okay, so I'm going to tilt this back down. Oh, see, this is what I did not. I might have to change um, arms. I might have to change arms. If this pops off, it falls into my paint. Uh, I really don't want to change arms because they're already situated for the... I can't see what you're saying. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to just go with it. We're going to roll. Let me take my cover off. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll help if I take my cover off. Yep, much better. 
So take the cover off. So now I'm going to tilt my phone. So hopefully you can see. I'm just going to talk. Can you hear me, anonymous person? Do not move the camera. Okay. So can you see? Is this good? Anonymous Facebook user friend. Hi. Okay. So I'm just going to go with it. So what I'm doing now is covering the canvas with base. And this is just water with Floetrol in it. And don't ask me the full noise because I don't, I don't know. And this isn't really a thick. I mean, can you see everything? Because when I use the blow dryer, I really need you to feel that. I should just hook the note. I can, you can see everything, right? Okay, good. Anonymous friend, if you hear. Yes, okay, great. So this is what you do. You make sure to, I'm gonna have to get another white because this isn't thick enough. It feels very thin to me and it shouldn't feel this way. So let me, in the world of art, you waste a lot of gloves. So let me get some more white. What's this? So I have boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes of latex gloves. And um, I know some artists, when they do their paint, they don't wear gloves. I'm sloppy. I'm like a big kid. So here we go. I probably won't do a lot of talking because when I'm usually here by myself, there's nobody to talk to but me. Excuse me, but me talking to myself. So hopefully my phone is charged enough. This definitely has Floetrol in it. And usually the curing time for a canvas is 27, 27 to 30 days. I usually don't wait that long. But um, I don't know if you saw this, but when I started the video, this is something I made and I blew this out with my mouth. So you pour the ink, I mean the ink, the paint on there and you blow it out. It's a series, so it's a three piece. And hopefully I'll be made, be able to make an announcement soon. So I have my, I'm gonna use this because I don't mess my gloves anymore. I have um, the base that we're gonna use on here. And you wanna make sure that the canvas is completely covered. Like you don't really have to worry, but I should tape the sides. Ah, I usually, sometimes I tape the sides, sometimes I don't, but I think it gives a more creative look when, especially when the paint goes over on the side and spills over. I just think that's so cool. And I needed this release today because it's been a crazy, I haven't done an acrylic pour in probably six months. So we'll set that there. So this is the white that I use. It's probably by Artist Loft because I have the big bottles over there. So this is white with Floetrol. The colors that we're going to use today, and I don't have an idea yet, is the copper, and it has silicone in it, so it will create cells. You have to be very careful with that. Then we have a blue, purple, pink, black, red, and it's neon yellow. This is definitely a color I will be using. So what you do is when you start, I haven't done this in a while, so please bear with me. Um, I know my silicone needs to go on top. Can can you hear me? Whoever's here? It's me, A. Michelle. Hey, A. Michelle. Can you hear me, A. Michelle? I'll just blink. Blink once, blink twice. Okay, I'm going to keep going. So I usually, before I do this, I have like a whole concept design in my little brain that I want to do. But today... I don't have one, so I'm just going to freestyle it. But you have to be very careful when you put your colors down because overpowering colors will, so dominant colors will take over the light colors and you have to be careful when you do it. So I think what I'm going to do is do a puddle of the red, yellow, and the pink with 
a dab, just a, a teardrop of the copper. And then I'm gonna turn around and do blue, purple. I must get another color over here. Here, here. Let's do blue, purple, blue, purple. Let's do this metallic. So I'm gonna do this metallic silver. So we're gonna do blue and purple. And then we wanna do red, pink, and yellow. And some of them will get white and black. The pink, the red, and the yellow will most def. Well, both of them might, might get the silicone because when you add silicone to your paints, it just makes it pop. So let's go. And when you open your paints, try not to do what I just did is open it over my open it over my canvas. So yellow and red makes pink. So we're not going to use red in this one. So we'll do pink. I'm going to just put a little dab right here. We we'll put all our tops over there, and then over here, we'll do a red. Oops, so let's start there since that's where it fell. We'll do a red, mm, this black is really, really thick. I need to mix it up some more, so let's not use that because if it's not thick enough. It has to be thick enough to flow. I don't know what color this is, so we'll use this with the red. And then, ah! that's why you cover stuff up. Um, and then I'll do some silver. And we'll top both of these off. I'm gonna, I need another color, so let's do. Pink. Oh, that teal is pretty. Oh, you see that teal? Can you see over there? Can you see? Oh, can you? I can't see. Cause can you see? You can't see. Okay, great. We're going to add just a dash of copper right there. So now what I'm going to do is turn on my blow dryer. And this is when it gets kind of crazy because you have to you have to kind of sort of know which direction you want to blow the paint in before you add the blow dryer. So I could do two effects here, which I will do. So one, so this one right here, I will blow it out. I won't use the blow dryer for it. I'll blow it out. And so this is how that goes. You got to make sure that nothing's hanging. But you have to be able to blow it this way too. That's pretty. Oh yes, Miss Nixon. Yes, that is pretty. Look at the cells. Look like spider webs. Okay, so I'll leave that alone. So I'm learning this. It looks like an orchid a little bit. When you think you've done enough, stop. So I'm going to go ahead because I had such a great experience <laughs> to turn on with that. So we're going to blow this out as well. Now this, because I have the copper in it, should be exceptionally pretty. And you'll watch how the copper pops. Hold on. Ready? Yes. Come through, Nixon. I want to make sure I have nothing. And when it dries, y'all not feeling me when I say this. When this dries, please don't talk to me. And I need all y'all to have several seats. So let's get some green up in here. We're going to do a green, a gold, and let's do an orange. 
So next, I'm going to do these three colors right here. And this is a metallic um, bronze. This is, I think I want to do gold. This is a green, a metallic green, metallic bronze. And this is, uh, I believe, a metallic orange. This might be just regular orange, but I'm going to do a gold. Let's do a gold. So let's do all metallics in the next one. So we'll do the gold, the metallic green, and then, oh Lord, Lord, look. And then we'll do the green, the gold, and the orange for the next one. So we'll put the green down first. Now this would be, I think I'm just going to go real small right here. Got your green. Let's do orange next. Then you have your orange. So usually when I do this and I am going to blow it out, my intention was to use a blow dryer. Um, I forgot what they call this technique though. It's been so long. Um, I usually have pulled a table out so I can get around it and blow in different directions, but this is okay for now. And so I want to, I want to do something. I got this negative space right here. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I like to let the paint sit and, you know, move around and have some movement. Um, ooh, are they air bubbles? Big no-no. No air bubbles in my paint. There you go. You better pop because I was getting this pen. I'm just going to pop you, buddy. Come on, pop. There you go. So let's blow it out. Here we go. get right there. I need to be on the other side of the table and I don't want to move it. Hmm. Guess we have to be creative here. So you have to excuse me, y'all, because y'all want to see my bonnet in a few minutes because I need to push that paint this way, which is why I moved the table out. But my table is leveled and so it's leveled for resin. So I haven't made the decision yet if I'm going to varnish this or resin it, but at either rate, my table is set right now. So if I do put resin on it, the resin will stay. It won't be lopsided. So hold on. I'm afraid if I do it, it'll mess it up. So I'm not going to do it. I'll just do another one. So even though it's really light right now, I'm going to put some glitter on it. Even though it's really light right now, when it dries, it's going to be really pretty. So let's add some 3D effect to this. Um... Do I have any green stones? I do. I do not. Oh, I do. Look at this next one with the green stones. It's cut glass. So this is cut glass that I may add. And now that I look at it, I don't want to touch it. 
Because usually when I use cut glass in my work, I pretty much know that I'm going to use it and I didn't. I feel like I need something right here. But it's good. I'm good with it. I'm going to let it sit somewhere. Oh, let me show you all a tabletop I did. So let me move this. And then, so this can, can cure. And so that's one painting. I probably, I'm going to do two tonight. Oh, let me show you what it looked like before I move it and get a close up. Let's turn the camera. And so this is, this camera phone is hot. Um, this is my pour, my Dutch pour. Took me what, maybe 20 minutes to do it. Isn't that beautiful? And this is just by blowing, it's hot in here, just by blowing, blowing this out. So, okay. So I'm going to switch the camera back and now it's, ooh, my phone is hot. Why is it so hot? I don't like that. Okay, so we'll move this over here. And now I'm going to show you a tabletop I did that I'm about to completely destroy. Destroy meaning that, so I did this, this was one of my first tabletops I've ever done. Hold on. And this is so this is a tabletop that I did. It has the legs. It's completely resin. In the middle are some um, I call it my 3D embellishments. And so this is completely if you look at it, see how it looks like glass? You see that? Because I resin this table. I'm doing more tables. Um, I may be having an event soon, so if I do, I plan to sell the table. And this one, this one, because I'm like over it, this is $10, no, 20. This is a $20 table when it comes with four legs that go right here. And so it's really pretty. I really like it. So if someone's interested, you know, let me know if you can have it for 20 money with legs. The next tables that I do will be koi fish, koi pond tables. So it'll be 3D. The resin will probably be about an inch, an inch deep because I have to do it in layers. And so by me doing it in layers, um, depending on how many layers I do, it'll probably take me five days to do. So let's put this back and get another canvas. So this time, let's do the same length do a different technique this time. Um, so for that, for that canvas, I used should I tape this? I don't like to tape it. I like the way the paint drips on the side. I don't know if you can see it, but it like drips. It's so cool when it drives like that. So let me put these on some some um I think these are called bed risers. And don't worry about the paint. Um, you can, I'm thinking about taking the, the skins. So they call them acrylic skins when your table dries. We should do a black. I, don't, I didn't mix any glow in the dark paint. I've been wanting to do one in black with glow in the dark paint. I don't know if you all saw my Mr. Turtle Man that I did and I put a turtle on them. I might do the same thing with that, probably not. So this one will be, we'll do this with the white background as well. Is this the right? No, that needs some help. So we'll do a white background on this. How tall is it? It is, uh, I think it's a 12 by 20. No, hold on. Oh, I just threw the paper in the trash. Let's look at the paper. It is, you mean, 
You mean the canvas or the table? Is it on the charger, your phone? No, I took the phone off. It's not on the charger, but it was, it was kind of hot. I don't know. I don't want it to, it's an iPhone. So I don't know. It's kind of hot. So well, it's not as hot as it was. Let me turn my fan this way. So it'll cool it off. I'll stop. There you go, Mr. Fan. Face this way. There you go. Very good. So now I turn the fan this way. Hopefully it won't warm my my thing. Oh, this is a you have some when you said size, did you mean the oh the table is um well now that you ask, let's measure it. The table is uh hold on. So you can't have a studio unless you have measuring tape. So let's see. I want to say, 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 I want to say, the table is 19 and a half, it's probably nine. it's 19 and a half all the way around, so 19 and a half wide and 19 and a half inches um, tall. And the legs, I believe, may be 18 inches or 24 inches. Don't make me get the legs. They're in a, a safe place. <laughs> and I don't feel like that one. But $20 for this table if you're interested. Um, the, the pictures that I showed, the artwork that I showed, let's sit this right here. The artwork that I showed earlier, these three sets right here. Like you have this one. We have this one, and then you have this one. These are 20, if you're interested. So I'm preparing for a show, and I'll probably sell this. That piece that I just did tonight, sell it, I'll varnish it. It'll be ready by the time the show comes. That's the wrong paint. So now I'm going to do another one. 